Well, what's going on? Let's tell you. We still got a writer's strike. We have an actor's strike that's going on. Honestly, don't really care because the garbage that they've put out in just the last couple of years just proves that, you know, Hollywood is not Hollywood anymore. Studios took uh, basically chances on low-end productions. Uh, and Some of them made money, some of them didn't. And then you have those writers out there who basically wrote scripts, try to hopefully get seen by a studio producer to put out their product, or they they funded it independently and got it out. And some of them were a major success and some were, were failures. And also remember, we've, we're just coming out of Comic-Con, uh, just to um, let you know, uh, basically we'll probably have a special Fast Five Comic-Con edition that's being worked on right now. Uh, it, hopefully it'll be another day or two before you see that. Uh, we're almost at, at the end of August. Uh, Fast Five will be going on vacation somewhere around the middle of August, somewhere around there. Uh, we'll begin a new season in September. So what do we have today? We got five stories for you. We got one, two, three, four, five stories for you. Uh, all of them, they're important stories on there. Some of them hidden by the mainstream media. Some of them you probably might have heard of uh, or you glanced at, didn't know what happened, didn't even really read it, but we're gonna bring it to you here on the Fast Five. So, let them let them engine start revving up. The flag is about to get, come down and the green light is lit, so let's go! Thank you for clicking on this video of the Fast Five. Don't forget to share this video, hit that like, hit that notification bell, and hopefully today is the day I earned your subscription. Well, let's start off with this, some sad news from the music world. To be well, little cable ties. Climb halfway to the stars. Uh, one of the top prolific singers, eminent, timeless stylist, Tony Bennett has passed away last week at the age of 96. He was the last of the great sal saloon singers of the mid 20th century. Bennett often said his lifelong ambition was to create a hit catalog rather than hit records. He released more than 70 albums, bringing him 19, that's 19 competitive Grammys, all but two after he reached his 60s and enjoyed a deep and lasting affection from his fans and fellow artists. This is a man that basically worked with others. He worked with Lady Gaga. He worked with other singers, just like Sinatra did as well. These were the greats of the time period. My mom had vinyl from Bennett and Sinatra and all these singers in our home. We heard this music growing up uh, in, our, you know, in our youths. And now we have lost one of the last greats uh, we've been losing some of the great singers in the last couple of years. Uh, you know, music is not the way it used to be. So rest in peace, Tony Bennett. We'll miss you, but at least we have the music that will last a lifetime. Switching to anime news, uh, you are familiar with the name Shinjo, Shinjiro Wannabe. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Well, he's working in a new exciting new project that was revealed uh, before Comic-Con. Variety reported that Cowboy Bebop director is teaming up with MAPPA and John Wick director Chad Stalinsky on a new anime titled Lazarus. The series is bound for Cartoon Network uh, Adult Swim Tsunami Block at some point in the future uh, with Wannabe directing, MAP producing, and Stalinsky designing the action sequence. Uh, the what we've gotten the perspective of this is that it is a in the year 2052 uh, basically uh, all ailments have been solved by one drug but what we're finding out is that the drug itself uh, basically will kill the person that has taken it within five years so a response team of a task of five agents has been gathered across the globe to save humanity from this doctor's plan. 
the group is called Lazarus. Can they find the doctor and develop a vaccine before time runs out? Hopefully this is good. It is coming from a great director and a great studio to boot. Moving over to streaming news. Pluto TV is back in the news again. They're adding a lot of channels. We told you they've added a Godzilla channel. They recently added Hollywood Squares. But now they will be adding the 1987 classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles channel coming soon. You'll be able to stream it for free on Pluto TV and even YouTube. This is a great add-on because a lot of animation and anime, they need a lot more on these AVOD uh, fast channels. They need more animation on there. There's plenty of stuff for, for the little little ones. Uh, for the mid-teens, there are some, but they need a lot more. This is a great uh, direction to go in. Hopefully, Tubi will come... Uh, <laughs> will make a competitive decision on more animation uh, for their channel as well as live animation uh, as far as uh, on the fast channels itself. Uh, we're also going to be sharing with the Andy Griffin Show, which will be available on demand also on Pluto TV as well. Uh, moving on to unusual news. Uh, when you thought it was safe to go back in the water or into the forest itself, when you've heard store movies come out like Cocaine Bear and Cocaine Shark and many of these other animals that uh, <laughs> have swallowed cocaine and gone, ma gone mad, uh, the New York Post is reporting uh, cocaine sharks might be feasting on drugs dumped off the Florida coast on there. Sharks are lurking off the Florida coast and may be eating bundles of cocaine dumped in the ocean by U.S. bound drug smugglers and scientists are doing uh, some work to find out what is going on. With the massive amount of drugs washing up on the beaches and being pulled out by the ocean by authorities each year, marine biologist Tom Hurd wanted to investigate whether or not sharks have ingested the cocaine part of a new TV series, Cocaine Sharks, which will be premiering Discovery Channel's beloved Shark Week, uh, uh, I believe this coming week. In the program, Hurd and the University of Florida environmental scientist Tracy Fernara conduct a number of experiments on the sharks off the Florida Keys where fishermen have reportedly told tales about drug addicted fish. You gotta remember, co Cocaine Bear was based on a true story uh, to the point where, yeah, the bear was ingesting. Now, did they go on a, on a crazy rampage? We don't have any evidence of that at that time, but you know, the bear is stuffed at a uh, place, I believe, Tennessee, if I'm not mistaken. Um, on there uh, would not be surprised if there were other species of fish aquatic or land animals uh, going through this as well it is a cocaine is a danger it's a drug you know it affects every living being and finally in blu-ray news well the fans wanted it and they they asked for it and they finally get it uh, knowing J. Michael Straczynski on his Twitter page announced that Warner Brothers will be releasing a Babylon 5 30th anniversary complete remastered series on Blu-ray coming out December 5th of this year. You can start placing orders. Uh, a lot of people are happy with that. Hopefully they've done a good job. Supposedly it was scanned in 4K and then downscaled to HD with a cleanup of color correction to boot. The CGI sequences were upscaled to HD and the show has been available to watch in its original 4.3 ever since. Yeah, in fact, you can watch Babylon 5 on fast channels via Tubi once in a while or watch it directly on the on-demand service on Tubi itself. It is fully available all five seasons, including the pilot, movie the gathering um the others i don't know if it's going to be doing but we do have another report coming out that will probably since there is an animated movie coming out also on blu-ray uh, that we're probably going to be seeing a lot more from babylon 5 for the reason was that there was somebody holding back that didn't like the series but we have a report coming out on another video on Madman man with the show so tell me in the comments below your thoughts about this. Uh, all five stories on there. Don't forget to like, share this video, hit the notification bell, and hopefully 
maybe I've just earned your subscription. So until next time, next week, same time, same place. Uh, don't forget to catch another edition of the Fast Five every Monday. There's going to be an additional Fast Five this week. Comic-Con edition uh, should be out in a day or two as they're editing it. And also, don't forget to check out uh, Man Man with the Show uh, Tuesday through Thursday or Tuesday through Friday, depending on which social media service you are on. So until next time, thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you have a good week. Hopefully you've enjoyed the Comic-Con and gone on there. Uh, don't forget, there are two more big Comic-Cons coming out there. You got Anime Matsuri and New York Comic-Con in October. So until next time, thank you for tuning in and bye-bye.